Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have this awesome 16 inch round that I'm going to do a, a straight pour, but I'm going to spin it as I do it on. And so let me explain my setup really quick. I have a Lazy Susan under here. And because this canvas is obviously too big for that, I've taped on some uh, just sticks. And then I'm going to go ahead and add on the back here some sticky tape to hold the canvas on there. You don't need a lot. Make sure it's gonna go somewhere that it will stick. So, and I like to use the kind of puffy kind. All right, let me make sure, there we go. Okay. And also try to make sure that it's at least relatively centered, which it seems to be, okay. So this thing isn't perfectly level or anything, so I'm not gonna leave it on there for a long time, but we'll make something awesome. And I surveyed on Facebook and YouTube what colors I should use on this. And one of the most liked, and also one of my favorites, was from Grace Lang. And her suggestion was turquoise, pink, emerald green, purple, and gold. So we're gonna more or less go with that. I'm going to use my 16 ounce double split cup. So it's got three compartments, two splits, and here we go. I'm starting with a little bit of white on one side, and I am gonna add a couple colors to this uh, color palette. So I've got turquoise there. In addition to the emerald green, I'm also going to use some of this Everglade green. So I'm gonna put, I think, all the greens over here in this one column for now. I don't need to fill this all the way up to the top because I only need maybe about 13 ounces for this side, for this size of a canvas. So here I'm gonna do purple, and then I've got a few pinks. I'm gonna use some of this hot pink, which I think will be pretty awesome. And then I've got some uh, Razzle Dazzle, which is like a deep magenta. Okay. And I think I'll go ahead and add some turquoise into this column as well. And some white. And I try to make the columns equal height. Okay, now on this last one, I do not have a lot of gold, unfortunately. So I am going to put some gold in here. But I'm going to also add in some Chocolate Magic, which is a brown, a metallic brown. I think that'll be fun here. And I'm going to put some more emerald on this side. And then more gold. And then top it off with, I think, a little more of the electric pink. Oopsies. <laughs> Okay, so that should be plenty of paint. Move everything out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a straight pour, which if you don't know what that is, you will in just a second. But basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this cup and I'm gonna start pouring it right in the middle. And as I do that, I'm gonna slowly rotate the canvas. This does take some coordination I don't have too much of that, but I'm gonna do my best. Try to keep my hand in the same spot. And I did mention earlier, but I'm sure this isn't level. So I do expect it to kind of go off to the side. So I may have to kind of travel with this a little bit. So far, really loving these colors. It's also hard to try to spin at like the same speed. I'm not trying to keep it spinning or anything. I just want to rotate it.
Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and straight pour the rest, I think. Yeah, I'll rotate it a little bit more. Okay. There we go. Now you can see it's obviously leaning to that side. I'm going to go ahead and center this a little bit more with just some tilting and then I will go ahead and spin it out. Okay, here we go. I'm not spinning very far so you can or very hard so you can see the paint's not going too far I don't even have this in a box or anything as long as you don't spin it like crazy you should be fine I'm gonna just personal desire wise I'm gonna spin this a couple more times I love this I want to spread some of this out a little bit and I'm not as thrilled with this section so Okay, awesome. I think that's fabulous. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of here. because, Like I said, it's not level, so I don't want to leave it on there. Just carefully dismounting it from the tape. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on some risers, and then we'll bring you in for a close-up. All right, bringing you in for the close-up. So I didn't use too much pink in there, but you do see some awesome pops throughout. Uh, There's definitely a bold color combination, and I love this white throughout here. It's almost like lightning, like some electrical storm or something. So super duper awesome. And thank you guys so much for all the color suggestions. Even though, of course, I could only pick one for this canvas, I will definitely be using some other ones in upcoming paintings. I had a lot of really, really cool suggestions. So there you guys have it. Really hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all next time.